In a speed reshoot, the water flow is driven by gravity, as illustrated in this prototype spillway flow. Although the law of flow resistance are essentially the same in open channels and in closed conduits, the calculation of the boundary level shear stress are complicated by the existence of the free surface. The boundary shear stress, tau naught, is proportional to the square of the velocity, in which f is the Darcy Weisbach friction factor, and rho is the fluid density. In many open channels, the flow resistance is a combination of the skin friction along the channel boundaries and of form drag. The form drag is associated with form losses and momentum transfer between the mainstream and the recirculation regions. The total boundary shear stress may be decomposed as a skin friction boundary shear stress plus the form drag boundary shear stress. A step spillway is basically a steep channel with a staircase invert. The construction of the steps along the spillway channel may assist with the energy dissipation and in turn reduce the size of the downstream energy dissipator. An example is the step spillway of the Rio Dam in France. Flow resistance in skimming flow on the step spillway is associated with considerable form losses on momentum transfer between the main flow and the step cavity recirculation. It is much larger than on smooth invert shoots. The following two movies show a skimming flow on a steep step spillway model. The video illustrates the intense recirculation in the step cavity, with this particular movie being recorded at 240 frames per second on replay at 30 frames per second, that is, one-eighth of the normal speed. A seminal test case is a uniform equilibrium flow in an open channel. At equilibrium, the momentum equation states the exact balance between the boundary shear force resisting the flow motion and the gravity force component in the skimming flow direction, expression shown here, in which PW is a weighted parameter and A is the flow cross-section area. For a wide channel, the momentum equation is the X longitudinal direction, given analytical expression of the total boundary shear stress, shown here. This result is valid for both smooth and step shoot. The following movie illustrate a skimming flow down a steep step channel with a slope of 45 degrees. The movie shows the upstream non-aerated flow and the inception of self-aeration further down the chute with the air water flow downstream. The movie was recorded at 240 frames per second and it is replayed at one eighth of the normal speed, that is at 30 frames per second. A comprehensive reanalysis of flow resistance at on step spillway is presented on this graph, regrouping nearly 250 laboratory and prototype data, including a large number of air water flow datasets. The graph presents the dimensionalized boundary shear stress in the form of a Darcy Weisbach friction factor as a function of the dimensionless cavity height where dh is the hydraulic diameter. For steep shoots, the data present no obvious correlation with the relative cavity height, Reynolds number, or fraud number. Overall, the flow resistance on step spillway compares well with a simplified analytical model of the form losses along the pseudo-invert formed by the step edge. Expression shown here, where the term 1 over k is the shear layer expansion rate at each step edge. The theoretical expression leads to a dimensionalized boundary shear stress of 0.2, a result comparable to experimental observation, which may be used for design, and is shown on this graph and compared to the data. The Darcy-Vesbach friction factor 
is equivalent to a demotionalized boundary share stress, accounting for the form drag along the step invert. The experimental data are typically within 0.1 to 0.3, that is, one order of magnitude larger than on smooth concrete spillway. The results are valid for fully developed, gradually varied on uniform equilibrium flow on step spillway. For developing flow, that is with a developing boundary layer, a different approach is required, namely using the momentum integral method. An in-depth scrutiny into the step spillway flow resistance data suggests that the skimming flow friction factor data are distributed on three dominant values. The flow resistance may not be a unique function of the flow rate on step geometry. Rather, the form drag process may present several modes of excitations, resulting from the vortex shedding in the shear layer, downstream of each step edge. Indeed, a number of laboratory data show that the flow property in skimming flows oscillate between adjacent step edge. The existence of such instability modes implied that the traditional concept of normal flow might not exist in skimming flow on step spillway. The following movie illustrates a skimming flow down a steep spillway model with a slope of 51.3 degrees. The movie was recorded at 30 frames per second, with a few sections being recorded at 120 frames per second, one fourth of the normal speed. The calculations of flow resistance in step spillways constitute a basic application of the concept of flow resistance on total drag in form drag dominated free surface flow. This is directly relevant to the design of dam spillways on energy dissipator for hydraulic structures. This is further discussed in a number of relevant YouTube video movies in the same channel.